Today we get our first look at the next Fortnite season as trailers, official artwork and more have all gone live but they were not meant to. The launch date for the next season has been confirmed for September the 18th with the theme being called Paradise. As a result of all of these leaks, Epic Games have put their official website live early and you can access it with weird audio playing in the background. All of these leaks kicked off when scheduled tweets from Fortnite's Twitter account were accidentally accessed early, but included trailers for the next season. We've been talking here on the channel about a weird, mysterious goo that's been starting to cover the Fortnite island, and we now know that this goo is actually called Chrome. If you're excited for the next season and want to find out more about this Chrome, stick around, hit that like button, there's so much to talk about. Fortnite's Twitter will be using these tweets as adverts over the coming week leading up to the next season, starting with, it consumes everything. Everything. Chrome will consume all. Chrome will be all. Consume everything. Which means whilst we've all been worried about the Fortnite reality tree, this Chrome is going to start taking over the entirety of the island and the threat of this Chrome to the Fortnite island could be devastating as we take a closer look in the leaked trailers. But before we do that, we need to take a step back as the next Fortnite season was actually teased all the way at the beginning of this season. The first leak actually happened a few days ago from Nintendo. We've all seen the official artwork, but it's exactly artwork image with a hand coming out of the chrome can actually be found on Malik's shield available in this season's battle pass. Just like Paradigm's hand coming out of that chrome, you can see the hand coming out of his shield as well. And if we look above that hand, we can see a face of what seems to be the chrome monster itself controlling the spread of this devastating chrome across the island. Towards the end of this season, we know a lot of the members of the Seven have started disappearing, leaving their helmets around the island and making themselves look like they're even dead or gone forever. Except that's actually not the case. Although we can see the Paradigm's hand coming out of the chrome and that doesn't look too good, the latest set of Vibe and Quest to finish off this season have revealed that the scientist, the visitor and the orange are all in an underground bio lab researching this strange substance across the island that we now know to be the chrome. I found the scientist. He's in his underground bio lab researching that strange substance spreading across the island. The visitor is there too, along with the origin. We've been asked to find and bring some seven gear to the lab. It sounds like we're going off grid. This looks like what Mr. Big Blue and Responsible needs. I wonder what they're researching down there. The location of the other seven members is still unknown, but it's safe to say that if they're researching this chrome spread, it's not looking good. But what's even worse is the destabilization of the zero point on the island. We all know that without the zero point, the island doesn't function. It gives us all of our power, all of our energy. And throughout the history of Fortnite, evil characters have always tried to get access to the zero point. In this season, everyone on the island has been relaxed, but the zero point has been exposed right in front of us, ready for a threat to come and take it. New sounds from the zero point can be heard and they're not very good. If you swim near the zero point currently on the Fortnite island, it matches very similar to the sounds of the crack zero point from chapter two, season five, after it destabilized then. It was initially believed that the zero point was destabilizing because of all of its power being sucked out by the reality tree and the mysterious evil monster that we saw at the beginning of this season's trailer. But with the chrome now coming on the island, it looks like the zero point is being threatened by another substance. But there is one good thing about this chrome appearing. Before I explain the good, we definitely have to explain the bad. This chrome is linked to a monster that will be taking over the Fortnite island and linked to Fort Nightmares within the next season of Fortnite as we head into October. Similar to the Storm King that we've seen on the island, this boss will have the ability for creatures to rise and summon creatures as well and have the effect of spreading that chrome across the island. The spreading of chrome and the link to this huge boss is not a good thing for sure. But if we take a look at the trailers that have been leaked, we can actually see the chrome in effect in real life trailers. These trailers haven't been filmed within the world of Fortnite. They've been filmed within people's homes. If we take a closer look to the effect of the chrome, it actually has a hard effect. You can see the cereal, you can see the fruit, you can see in all of these trailers that when the chrome starts spreading, the things that it touches completely go solid. These trailers give our very first look at what this chrome can do to the island. And with the reality tree trying to suck the energy from the zero point and destabilizing it, weirdly enough, the incoming chrome on the island could actually freeze parts of the island and stabilize the zero point, stopping the energy being stolen by the reality tree. Don't get things wrong though, both the chrome and the mysterious 
mysterious figure behind the reality tree are threats to the island, but they're almost canceling each other out, which is helping us for the moment. And the extra bad news is that the chrome is actually already on the island right now. Thankfully, it's only on Spawn Island, but it's already starting to spread as we get closer and closer to the next week's season. With the official launch date being September the 18th, next Sunday, make sure you subscribe to see the Battle Pass new island changes and everything new here on the channel. But with the chrome already on Spawn Island, you can already see footprints in it, as if somebody on the Fortnite island has helped bring the chrome here. Which is why we come back to Phaedra, one of the Battle Pass skins that seemingly we all looked over. She was actually our very first look and teasers to the next Fortnite season and the chrome that was coming. In the loading screen, we can see what we thought was ink everywhere, but was actually our first look at the chrome effect, with the reflection of her character being covered in chrome as well. The description of her pack constantly relates to hiding in the darkness and the shadows, and funnily enough, the footprints on Spawn Island match up really similar to the boots that she actually wears in her skin. We'll definitely be finding out a lot more about this character and she'll be important to what's happening next. And let's not forget about the Chaos Agent, a character that we've always considered to be evil within the world of Fortnite. He literally has floating gloop and chrome all over him. And from trailers we've seen, we know that he's a scientist. He's even turned some of the Fortnite characters into Slurp characters. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this guy turning some characters into chrome as well. Just saying chrome legends bundle is definitely coming. Which leads us into some new features coming next season. Adjustments to sand tunneling, which you've seen in previous seasons, will also be returning next season, which will actually allow us to travel through this chrome and use it as a way of getting around the island. And it's safe to say that a lot of the island is going to be covered in this chrome gloop, so a load more traveling features around the island will be coming. And if chrome and the reality tree weren't big enough threats already, it looks like we could be seeing the return of the last reality in the Cube Queen too. And let's not forget that we can still see the glow of what we believe to be the Cube Queen way off in the mountains, still to be seen though from the island. Around the Fortnite island, you can now find different colored butterflies, not just the blue butterfly that we'd seen in the past. We've also seen a blue. In fact, the only blue cube was the one that we turned into blue during the live event, the evil purple cube and the mega evil golden cube that contained the queen. You've got a butterfly for each of them, but there's also been red butterflies floating around the island. Now, you may remember that we did a video taking a look from within the Joneses area of chapter three, a table, a table that contained a giant blue cube and then a purple gold and red dice on the table. We theorized that we would be getting a red cube at some point in the future, and with the red butterfly now in the game, I'm just saying, the likelihood of us getting a red cube, whatever that means, maybe mega, mega evil or mega, mega good, is looking more and more likely. If you want to find out more about the red cube, click on screen here to go and watch another Fortnite video filled with some incredible moments and news on that red Fortnite cube. Quickly click it before I disappear, the next season is going to be crazy.